Welcome back to the Ten Dial. Here on Ten Dial Gaming, my name is Ryan, and I hope this video finds you well. Today we're checking out Northern Lights, but from a different perspective. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, what is Northern Lights? As we can see here, Northern Lights, and this is via their website, is an open world survival simulation set in extreme conditions of the Arctic Tundra. Have we heard this before? There's many games out there like this, but this one very reminiscent of The Long Dark as you have to survive in the cold and use all the survival skills that you can to not die. Northern Lights has been out since December 14th, 2020, so just over a year at this point. At the time of this video, the reviews are marked as mixed, both recent and all time. That's a little concerning. I stand with uh, many people when we look at survival games like this. Is this any different than the other survival games that are out there? We have our Seven Days to Die, our The Long Dark, Raft, uh, Ark. There's so many different flavors, but maybe this one has a little bit more going for it. We'll have to see. Recently, the game has received a major overhaul update, update 0.4.1, now being released just uh, about a week ago here as we record this on the 7th of January. They've adjusted the price. They've changed some functionality in the game. That is very impressive. I love when developers do this. They show that they understand players and where they're coming from, fixing issues as you can see here, and just really interacting with the community in, in the correct way. This seems like it is probably on the right path, but we won't know until we get a full hands-on. In full disclosure, before we get into the gameplay, I have received a code for this free of charge from the developer at Mad Goat Studios, so thank you very much for the code. My opinion is going to be unbiased. I will say exactly how I feel about the game, how it plays, how it feels. And I can't wait to check it out. Let's go. And boom, here we are. Welcome to Northern Lights. I understand this is an early access version, so there's still room for optimization performance. Sure. Right off the bat, music's pretty good. Let's just dive right in. New game. So we've got single player and co-op. That's really cool. Resourceful, survivor, prey. Oh boy. Let's go survivor. That seems probably like the, the best. Tutorials? I'm going to leave it on. I normally am a big... Uh, ugh, I don't like tutorials, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. Good music there. Falling snow. I'm, I'm liking this all so far. Let's see. Let's see. For a couple minutes of loading there. All right. September 13th, Northern Siberia. All right. We're in the, we're in the deep cold. The deep tundra. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. Oh, big crunchy snow. Wow. Barely any HUD. I appreciate that. That's fascinating. Can we pick up stuff? Inventory. Oh, here we go. Everything you pick up goes straight into your inventory. Open the inventory tab. Okay. This is one of the things I was very interested in with the backpack. Reminds me of uh, Green Hell's uh, survival layout with their, with their backpack, and I really like that. Uh, the rest of the game, I not not as much, but th this is uh, this is appealing. E to take. We open our inventory. How do we interact with it? That's what I want to know. So we've got okay. So we can see the inner stuff. And we can see sticks. Right mouse for more. You could destroy it. Oh, that's kind of... Okay. Alright, let's see what else we find. Betting. The 
as plants, you can find a variety of herbs in the Arctic flora from plants and mushrooms to tasty berries. Be careful, some herbs may help you cure diseases, but others can be straight poisonous. Unknown plant. Let's, let's not take it. <laughs> let's just keep going. Maybe pick up rocks. No, okay. That's interesting. So I don't know what we're supposed to do yet. And that's appealing. We cannot pick up rocks. It's very much unlike most other survival games of the last five, even ten years. Almost always requiring you to pick up rocks and twigs and wood and, and whatnot. Was the more on this? You can try and consume it. Let's see what happens. A hunger and energy. Oh, okay. So we've got a compass. In order to navigate through the Arctic wastelands, you will have to make use of your map and compass. The map can be accessed using M. Okay. When you first start the game, map is incomplete. In order to reveal regions, you'll need to find missing map pieces, which are scattered across the world. Oh, that's awesome. Compass. Not sure where we're supposed to be going, but... So, we look at our map right now. Oh, that's really neat. I like that. That is really cool. Uh, yeah, let's just continue this direction and see what we find. I'm going to take a bunch more of this. Seems like that could be good to eat. What was that? I heard something. Pine cone? Might be useful. Maybe just some kind of tinder? You could burn it? I hear something in the... Di is that a deer? It is. There's a deer right over there. Is this a rock we can pick up? Yeah, okay. All right, can we can we craft? Is there any kind of crafting? There's our our uh, logbook quest book. Here we go. You can craft stuff. A stick knife. You need stone, rope, and sticks. Stone knife. You just need stones. Stone hatchet. Two stone sticks and rope. We don't have any rope yet. We don't have any of the the required stuff. Quest, we've got our flora. I love when they break all this stuff out. Makes me very happy to be able to dig into things. Need 14 sticks for a small fire. Eventually, we're going to need that. Storage, shelter, a lot of sticks. So, you need a lot of sticks. So, pretty much, if you see stones that you can actually pick up, pick them up. You see sticks, just pick them up. Problem at some point I think is gonna be weight. And I haven't seen anything on the side here that looks like our health. We've got maybe a mental aspect with that brain and I guess stamina and such. That's a hold on, that's not a deer. That looks like a moose. No, it is a deer, it is a deer. We've got stones. We can make a stone knife. Can we check that out? See, how do we do that? Craft a stone knife. Cool. Now we could, uh... Beat some stuff up if I guess... I guess if we had to. What else can we do? Make? Nothing. We really need to figure out what rope would be. Body temperature. After wandering through the cold of, of Siberia, body temperature has dropped drastically. Stand next to a heat source, so we need to make a fire. We need to get more sticks. I'm 
not seeing a ton of them. More would be would be better for sure. Take a look at our map. Well, it feels like we're right there, really. I wonder. Oh, it looks like a mushroom. I'm betting we probably can't eat that. Yeah, we've just got to collect everything we possibly can. We're going to run into a weed issue, I'm sure. But we'll, uh, we'll just have to manage. Fine, here's a lot of sticks. Could have close to enough. Harvest the spruce bark. Inner spruce bark. That was okay. What's that? Pine sap. Yeah, take some of that. I'm sure that'll be good. Take all the different things so we can check them all out. Oh, what's that over there? That looks good. Can pick up that one, huh? Surveying. There's location nearby. Best way of finding locations by using your binoculars? Oh, V. Okay. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, so there's definitely a thing over there. New map entry? Yeah, there's something. We're heading towards it. Which is good, because if we didn't do something, we'd probably freeze. Take the spruce bark with us. See if we can do anything else with it. Sticks. We're going to need all these sticks for fire. Oh, there's stuff uh, on this log. Different mushrooms. Learned very early uh, as a child. Hey, don't eat. Don't eat stuff off of wood. And, uh, that, those lessons have continued... Throughout adulthood, don't eat stuff you're not supposed to eat. <laughs> that looks like a fox over there. Good, good lesson. I definitely uh, eating some stuff that I was probably not supposed to. Unintentionally, usually. How do we get in there? Anyway, I'm still here, so I call that survival skills. All right, so nothing around that whole front, that other side. We're going to book it, use our energy. Good run, I like it. There's a door. I was just like, do I have to jump this? What's this sign say? Ah, uh, okay. Looks like some kind of mill. Wood factory. All right. It's pretty cold in here. Bandage. Nice. Nice to find a building, though. A mad bull. <laughs> yeah, consume that. Chicken noodle soup. Go ahead and consume that. Antibiotics. Definitely going to need those. Can't pick up the shovel or the tools. Alright. Got bathroom. Ooh, clothing. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Gotta keep ourselves warm.
Oh, wow, so there's different. Okay, so those are worse, but the ones I have are better. Very nice. I didn't fully check out the bottom floor. So far, this is really fascinating. Paper debris. Eh. Firewood, very nice. Bandage. Different boots. Antibiotics. I guess paper debris could be used as some kind of uh, tinder as well to start a fire. Is this booze? Vodka. <laughs> Definitely take that. We're going to need that for sure. It's paper debris. Plenty of stuff here. Wow. Pasta. Blueberry juice. A lot of materials here. Reminds me of early days, uh, Daisy, with the loot kind of just being strewn about. That's not what I would have expected, but that's interesting. What's that? A scarf? Nice. Anything with those. Alright, on to the second floor. There's tons of loot in here. Oh, we could we could definitely set like set up here. Probably should start a fire of some sort. I'm imagining we can cook food. I'm getting a lot of food and drink. Almost too much. Recycled can. Oh. Harvest it for what? Scrap metal? Okay. Could store stuff in there. Unless they're... Oh, okay. So this is how our inventory shows when it's got a bunch of stuff in it. This is what I was looking to, to see on the side. My face is blocking a whole bunch of it, but... We can, uh... We can just deal. There, there's a lot of little meters and, and, and such. That's interesting. Huh. There's a lot of our different statuses. I, I just want to collect all the things. So we can make better decisions as we go. A lot of stuff, though. Looks like in this place you could definitely just start doing all kinds of things. We'll take a look at our crafting. See how different that is. Anything... So there's nothing in here? Oh, no, there is. I'm not sure what just happened there. Is it just for storing stuff, or is there actually stuff in there? I may have just eaten food I didn't need to eat. We're getting cabin fever risk. Oh, no. Match. There we go. More matches. About a million antibiotics I'm sure we're going to need. Should have a bunch of everything oh, there's stuff on the other side of this all right let's take a look at our inventory and crafting can we craft anything other than the stone <laughs> Stick spear? No. Don't have rope. We haven't figured out rope yet. A hand drill. We can make one of those. A sap dressing. That must be a special bandage. We 
We've got a lot more floor. Wow, just this top floor. I thought it was going to go up a lot further. Might as well go up and see what's up top. Nothing? Bunch of snow? Or there might be some loot up here. No? Alright, fair enough. Could use this to potentially look for other things, but... Cool. Alright, how do we make a fire? Take a look. You can make traps too? Oh, that's neat. So you can trap animals. That's that's then we get small fire, craft it. Oh, just right from there, huh? We place it. And then you gotta build it. I think maybe we have to build it outside on the ground. I don't quite understand the fire, but I'm excited to see how it works. Maybe like under something. Yeah, like right here. It's cold, but we could try it. Nice. Oh, you've got to build it up. Starting a fire. To successfully start a fire, craft yourself a fire starter. Uh, item and some tinder. Alright. We got paper debris. We got a match. Oh, I just destroyed one of those. So this... Oh, hand drill. Here we go. We probably use that. Throw some tinder in there. And a starter. Or maybe a match. Some fuel. Now we can use the fire. To do what? I'm not sure. <laughs> and antibiotics and bandages. I think I was just eating the food. But maybe we can cook it. See how that works. It's got a fuel on it. Okay, I don't quite know... Looks like you just eat the food. But these have a decay on them. The uh, mushrooms and whatnot. You could just what cook cook it nearby? Yeah, it looks like it it just dropped it. Use cooking spot. Oh, okay. Don't cook the vodka. There you go. A little intuitive there. I wonder how long that takes to cook. I didn't see any timers or anything. I just ate it before. Really wanted to just be warm. We could see on our thing here, like, oh, that's when you get cold. This seems pretty, pretty standard so far. Pretty simple, but 
look at what is this warning? Cabin fever risk. I'm not sure what what that is. I know what cabin fever is, but I don't I don't know what what has caused it. Are we hungry at all? I I don't see anything, but eat anyway. There was a thing to look at your watch, and I don't quite understand what that is. So let me figure that out quick. Okay, it's T. Let's see what time it is. I, I thought it would show something else. <laughs> Just these cooking, these cooking spots. Uh, can we try to cook those? It doesn't seem like that works. Looks like it's looking for a food container. Be nice if you could just click it, and not have to drag it. Okay, so it's only only food containers you can cook that way. Interesting. Right, well, we're we're warm. We can see the fuel. Ah, it, it does go quickly. Once the fire. Oh Jesus! Oh, I'm on fire. We contracted. Oh, we have an infection risk, and we. Oh boy. I mean, let's uh, let's use those trusty antibiotics. Unknown effects. A bit better than contracting some infection because we burned ourselves. Consume the bandage. I would like to see something there with that where we either put it on or it doesn't have to be an animation, but something subtle there because now I've just got this. I have burns and an infection risk, but I don't understand how to get rid of it. I think the burns may be going away based off the bandage, but I don't know. I've got to keep looking at that. That's that's something. So I'm not sure what else we're supposed to do, but I'm intrigued with not knowing where this will go. Can we do anything cool with these? I wouldn't think so. I didn't really want to try to drive vehicles. Plank. I wanted these to be good to, to get in. Storage container? Heck yeah. That's a little bits and bobs around here. That's about it. This place was pretty lucrative. Can't make a hatchet because I don't I don't have anything to make. Rope, oh, a rifle bullet. Painkillers. More bullets. Can jump. I didn't even think about that. I'm I'm a pretty uh, avid jumper. I jump a ton in games and didn't even think about it twice in this game. I think that shows a lot of restraint. <laughs> Tons of bandages. They just know you're gonna burn yourself and do do goofy stuff at every turn. Alright, so I guess we move on. Unless there's something else we can actually craft that would be sweet. Into a hatchet. Into a stick knife. Because we don't have rope. Okay. Tell me how I can get rope. Some kind of... Oh, right there. Cloth. Oh, can we destroy stuff we're not going to wear? Like, I had a scarf somewhere. I put it down. We got cloth. And our inventory's full. Do we have two cloth?
this to one. Just scrap metal. Just like cans, we gotta harvest. You can harvest right in here. That's neat. That I like. Very good. There, oh, is that rope? That's rope. Nice. So we've got our knife. That's pretty sweet. And we can make a couple things, I think, with rope. We've got a so we've got stick knife. We've got a stone knife, which is already cool. A stone hatch, it seems like that would be so sweet. A stick spear. Stone spear might be good too. Crafted. Okay, we don't need that. Alright, so let's go with just the hatchet. Craft. One insanity. Oh no, we're going insane? Alright, so it's it's on the number? Okay. So now we could we could hatchet a bunch of stuff. That makes this interesting. You hatch a wood just on the ground. A chocolate bar. I was not very observant as we went through here, unless this stuff repopulated all of a sudden. In which case, that's a little odd. Whoa! Okay, so it's kind of an automatic salvaging of stuff. That's an interesting take. I don't dislike that. That is definitely interesting. I am curious what the objective is. I guess there's a, a bigger issue. What What is the objective? Where are we supposed to go? We're in this wood factory. Had a good time exploring and figuring out a couple of things. And this is the the very beginnings of something potentially here. But it's very open-ended. Which I definitely like. And I gotta gotta make your way and you know, figure some stuff out. I, I really do appreciate that. And I, I understand this game is still in development and that's wonderful. I, I love seeing games come to life and flourish. So we'll have to check this one out again, maybe in an extended play. That'd be pretty sweet. But I think that's going to be all we're going to experience for right now. This is pretty awesome. There's, there's some real potential here, I'll say. What is that, a bird's nest? Eggs! So we can straight up chop trees. Let's give that a shot before we. It just chops the tree. I mean, that's pretty cool. That 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 is definitely a. Uh, not what I thought would happen. The salvaging is is automatic. Hey, different perspective. I'll take it. I like it. And that's going to do it for our look at Northern Lights. Take a look uh, down there at the, all the price details and, and all that. It has changed recently, has been recently updated. This game looks pretty promising. I do think I want to look at it in a more extended play fashion here in the future, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Remember to stay safe out there. And as always, remember to embrace the chill.